what I can tell you is that right now in this moment, there is a lamb on the kill floor of the slaughterhouse who has just watched as their friend has been shackled upside down and had their neck sliced open. And this lamb is cowering in the corner, hiding, hoping that the slaughterhouse worker will not notice them. But of course they do. They always do. And so in this moment, that worker is walking over to the lamb. And when he reaches that lamb, that lamb too will be shackled by their feet and have their neck sliced off. There will be no climate rebellion without animal rebellion. Animal agriculture and fishing ravage and poison our oceans. They leave our land barren and uninhabitable. They exploit our animal kin. They obliterate wildlife. It is animal agriculture and fishing that are driving us to extinction. The misery of the animals trapped in these industrial systems cannot go unchallenged. We declare rebellion against the government and the animal agriculture and fishing industries. And so that is why on the 7th of October, 10,000 of us are going to block and blockade Smithfield's meat market in London, which is the largest meat market in the UK. We are going to stay there until our demands are met and the industries are closed down. So we ask of you today to come the 7th of October, you bring your tents, take some time off work, and you join in the rebellion. When I first became an activist, I was in Barcelona. And my buddy Seb told me about a slaughterhouse in the U.S. called Smithfield. At Smithfield Slaughterhouse, they kill 30,000 pigs every single day of every single year. I'd never heard anything like that. And I just thought, damn. 30,000 lives. That's 30,000 times that the blade slid across the necks. They never got to say goodbye. They would never show compassion. All our love just slid straight past them for one reason. They don't look like you or I. Perhaps if they had longer tails or were conscious, it would never fail. We'd see them for what they truly are, and that's a soul. Nah, but of course, they grow them fat. Because butt bacon, ooh, they love that. This is nothing but injustice. This I know. And so if you choose to eat them, you're ingesting all those demons that tortured their existence so cold. Because it's true, they were denied the rights that we all want in this life. And their bodies were then chopped up and sold. So go on, call me a hippie because I see this system simply for what it is and that's a devil with no soul. Because really human greed has brought us all down to our knees and soon we'll see rivers that don't flow. Because they've been filled with the waste of beings killed for just a taste. That's the only reason you eat them, don't you know? Yeah, maybe culture brought you there, but you'll say you're too damn scared of some stupid social stigma that's so old. So then let me ask you this. If it's sausage that you'll miss, is it really worth the pleasure you'll be shown? Because when I see you eating, I see the 30,000 repeated. And soon, you'll see it too. This I know. Thank you. Thank you all so, so much for listening. We at Animal Rebellion look 